Good morning students. Today we will discuss Apollonius identity and Pythagorean theorem. So the first is what is Apollonius identity. If we take three elements x, y and z in an inner product space then the square of the norm of z minus x plus the square of norm of z minus y is equal to 1 by 2 times x minus y norm square plus 2 times the square of norm of z minus half of x plus y. This expression is called Apollonius identity. So we will verify this identity by direct substitution. So firstly let us start from the left hand side. So left hand side is z minus x norm square plus z minus y norm square. Now by definition what is norm? Norm is the square root of inner product of the element with itself. So z minus x norm square means inner product of z minus x with itself. z minus y norm square means inner product of z minus y with itself. Now using the properties of inner product, this product can be written as inner product of z with z minus inner product of x with z minus inner product of z with x when minus minus plus inner product of x with x. Now this term can be simplified as inner product of z with z minus inner product of y with z minus inner product of z with y plus inner product of y with y. Now inner product of z with z that is z norm square. These terms will remain as it is. Inner product of x with x means x norm square. Inner product of z with z that is z norm square. These terms will remain as it is. Inner product of y with y that is y norm square. Now let us combine the like terms. So we get z norm square plus z norm square. This is 2 times z norm square minus inner product of z with x minus inner product of x with z plus x norm square minus inner product of y with z minus inner product of z with y plus y norm square. So we have obtained the left hand side of Apollonius identity. Now let us simplify the right hand side. Now the right hand side is 1 by 2 times the square of norm of x minus y plus 2 times the square of norm of z minus half of x plus y. Now let us simplify this term. Now x minus y norm square means inner product of x minus y with itself. Here this norm square means inner product of this term with itself. Now from here this is inner product of x with x minus inner product of y with x minus inner product of x with y plus inner product of y with y and this term can be simplified as inner product of z with z inner product of z with half of x plus y minus half of inner product of half of x plus y with z and the last term will be inner product of this term with this term. So now let us further simplify these terms. So if we further simplify these terms inner product of x with x that is x norm square inner product of y with x minus inner product of x with y plus y norm square plus 2 times z norm square minus half of inner product of z with x minus half of inner product of z with y minus half of inner product of x with z minus half of inner product of y with z plus 1 by 4 times inner product of x with x plus 1 by 4 times inner product of y with x plus 1 by 4 times inner product of x with y plus 1 by 4 times inner product of y with y. Now let us further simplify and combine the like terms to get the required uh, inequality, uh, required equality which is x norm square plus y norm square plus 2 times z norm square minus inner product of z with x minus inner product of z with y minus inner product of x with z minus inner product of y with z. You can obtain this expression by direct simplification and combining the like terms. So this identity is called Apollonius identity. 
Now the next is Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem in an inner product space, if we have two elements x and y, which are orthogonal elements, then x plus y norm square is equal to x norm square plus y norm square. This is called Pythagorean theorem. The converse of this theorem that is also true in that case if x is real inner product space means if x is real inner product space in that case if we have x plus y norm square is equal to x norm square plus y norm square then this equation implies that x is orthogonal to y but the converse of Pythagorean theorem that may not hold if the space is complex inner product space. So firstly we will prove Pythagorean theorem and then we check the converse which holds in case of the real inner product space. So in order to prove Pythagorean theorem it is given that x is orthogonal to y. Because x is orthogonal to y so by definition of orthogonality inner product of x with y that is 0. Because inner product of x with y is 0, so its conjugate will also be 0. Its conjugate means inner product of y with x that is also 0. So now let us consider x plus y norm square. By definition x plus y norm square means inner product of x plus y with itself. Now inner product of x with x plus inner product of x with y plus inner product of y with x plus inner product of y with y. So this can further be written as inner product of x with x means x norm square, inner product of y with y means y norm square and from here these two terms will become 0. So we have obtained x plus y norm square is equal to x norm square plus y norm square. So this e equation is called Pythagorean theorem. Now let us check the converse of Pythagorean theorem which is true in case of real inner product space. Now x is real inner product space and we are given this equation holds means x norm square plus y norm square is equal to x plus y norm square for every x and y belonging to the inner product space x. Now this equation can further be written in this form by shifting these terms on this side of the equation. Now x plus y norm square opening the definition of norm by definition norm square means inner product of x plus y with itself. So we get inner product of x with x plus inner product of x with y plus inner product of y with x plus inner product of y with y. So uh, and these two terms will remain as it is and this equation is equal to 0. Now this is x norm square, this is y norm square. So x norm square will be cancelled with x norm square and y norm square will be cancelled out with y norm square. So these terms are cancelled out and we are left with 2 times inner product of x with y is equal to 0. Dividing throughout by 2 we get inner product of x with y that is also 0. So we can say that x is orthogonal to y. Now let us show that the converse of Pythagorean theorem may not hold if the inner product space is not real means that is a complex vector space. Now uh, in order to show that the converse may not hold let us take an example. So let us take two elements. Uh, one element we have taken as 1 and another element we have taken as iota. Now let us find x plus y norm square. By definition x plus y norm square means inner product of x plus y with itself. Now x plus y is 1 plus iota. So inner product of 1 plus iota with 1 plus iota. So by using the definition of inner product in a complex inner product space we get x plus y norm square its value is 2 because 1 plus iota into the conjugate of 1 plus iota that will give us 1 plus iota into 1 minus iota. So that will become 1 plus 1 that will be 2. Now let us find x norm square plus y norm square. x norm square means inner product of 1 with 1 which is 1 and inner product of iota with iota. So that will be <coughs> minus iota square. So that will be plus 1. So 1 plus 1 that is 2. 
now let us uh, we can see that x plus y norm square is equal to x norm square plus y norm square this equation is satisfied but now we will check that x and y these are not orthogonal to each other now two elements are orthogonal to each other if their inner product is zero now we can see from here if we find the inner product of x with y means inner product of one with iota so that will be minus iota because if we take scalar outside from the second term then it gets conjugate conjugate iota is minus iota so inside we are left with inner product of 1 with 1 with this is 1 this is minus iota so minus iota into 1 that will be minus iota and this is not equal to 0 because the inner product of 1 with iota that is not equal to 0 it means these two elements 1 and iota these are not orthogonal elements thus we can say that the converse of pythagorean theorem holds only in that case when the inner product space is real but in case of complex inner product space uh, the converse of pythagorean theorem may not hold so this completes your two, uh, two theorems apollonius identity and pythagorean theorem thank you